So today I wanted to pull the biggest prank on my boyfriend in the most unexpected way possible. I joined his Minecraft server and I decided to tear down the house he's been working on for so long and moved it underground. Guys, be sure to watch until the end to see his reaction. As y'all can see, I am not in Roblox today. I actually have been having a lot of fun with Minecraft. So I figured I would try and make a Minecraft video today. And guys, I'm actually in one of Dylan's servers that him and his friends have been playing in. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen those videos on his Minecraft channel, cause they're pretty funny. And um, you guys, there are so many houses over here and I'm pretty sure one of these is actually Dylan's. And you guys, I'm gonna take a lucky guess and assume that it is this big white and black modern one over here. You guys know that Dylan is pretty into his whole like sleek, simple, modern style houses and stuff. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This one looks pretty cool. Um, I mean, it looks pretty much his style, just lots of boxes and stuff, but it looks really high end. And you know, the scenery is really great. There's some little hills and stuff everywhere. A nice view of some mountains. You guys, this place is pretty cool. But um, I was actually wondering, you know, what this house might look like if it was underground. So you guys are probably wondering what I mean by his house underground. And okay, you guys, so Dylan has been kind of helping me a little bit with Minecraft because I'm not super great at all of the controls, if I'm being totally honest. So he did leave this little chest for me. As y'all can see, it says for carry. And uh, he left me quite a few things for when I play this game. I've got some armor. Uh, I got pickaxe, an axe, and a sword. But guys, little does he know, I'm going to be using all of these things that he left me to basically tear down his house and put it completely underground. And you guys, his reaction is going to be hilarious, you guys, when he finds out that I use the tools that he took the effort to leave for me and destroy his beautiful modern house. So I got on all the armor, you guys. I'm going to run over here. And you know, I probably need to take a few screenshots of this place so I can accurately build it underground. Because guys, I mean, look at this building. It's massive. Dylan must have taken so much time on this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of the front of it because I mean, I feel like that's probably one of the most important parts of it. And also, I guess this will be sort of a house tour for y'all if y'all haven't seen the inside. Okay, okay, okay. I guess this is the living room over here. I'm gonna take another screenshot of that. Literally, guys, I'm just gonna be taking as many screenshots as I can because like, yeah, he's probably going to be pretty mad at me, but maybe he'll be like a little bit impressed if I can accurately build this whole thing underground. Minus the fact that his house that he probably spent a super long time on is literally in the ground. Okay, um, we're upstairs now. I guess he built like a like a library or a study or something. There's a whole lot of books over here. Okay, I'm take a screenshot of that wall, that one. Oh, I guess this is his bedroom. I just wasn't looking over here. Yeah, that's a little bed over there. Okay, screenshot of that. And uh, this one, and oh my gosh, you guys, is this a little balcony? That is actually so cute. He was pretty creative with this whole thing. I mean, he's even got some little flowers over here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see, I need to head to the back of it so I can get a picture and see what kind of windows and stuff he put in there. Take a screenshot there. And okay, you guys, I think I got most of the pictures that I need. Um, I will take a couple more just of this backyard part. And okay, you guys. I think it's about time that this building goes underground. So I forgot that in order to take this thing underground, 
I have to completely destroy it first. So I got my little pickaxe here that Dylan so kindly left for me. And I'm just going to start going to town on this house. Okay, wait, you guys, this is actually kind of fun. Um, this is probably one of my favorite parts of Minecraft is that you can just break things. I'm literally taking down all of his walls. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit by little because honestly, I'm kind of having a great time with this. Okay, I just broke through the wall so I don't need to use the front door anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ax and start destroying all of his beautiful grand staircases that he left in here. Okay, and his coffee table. You guys, he's literally going to be so mad at me. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is hilarious. His stairs are literally almost gone. He's gonna walk in and there's gonna be absolutely nothing. I mean, I feel like this is probably a pretty good prank. He's been roasting my pranks lately, but he totally would not expect this one because, I mean, I don't play super often. I've just kind of recently started, so I'm actually not too great at all of this yet. So when he finds out that I have completely rebuilt his house, um, I mean, you guys, you can imagine his reaction. He's probably going to be so mad at me, but at the same time, I'm hoping a little proud that uh, I took some of my time to build a house this extravagant because, I mean, look at this, guys. It's crazy. He literally got all of the details. I'm literally knocking out the floor too. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. I should probably, maybe I should do this more often. Just go into this server and destroy things. I think I'm having a pretty good time with it. Let's see. Um, let's try to break this mirror over here. Boom. I got the window and more of the walls. You guys. Okay. Wait a second. Y'all know I don't work out very much, but even my hand is getting tired from all of this clicking. This house is so big. It's literally going to take me forever to get this thing totally broken down because I can't really start building it underground until this entire thing is like reduced to just rubble and stuff. Okay, I did not realize how many boxes he used to build this thing. This must have taken him like hours. This is literally, oh, what the heck? I just fell into like this dungeon thing. Okay, you guys, this is gonna take me a lot more time than I planned. So I'll be back when this whole thing is basically just gravel. Alrighty, you guys, that literally took me so long. You guys, this house was way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But I mean, if you look around, everything is gone. The house has completely vanished and all of the contents are in these bins right here. So I guess the next part of this is to just find a place to rebuild this house. So I think I made it far enough away and you guys, I'm literally in the middle of the desert right now. But honestly, I think building his house under all of this sand would be literally so funny. And okay, uh, so I guess I'm just gonna start building uh, straight down. I actually did not take the dimensions of his house, you guys. So I'm literally probably just gonna try and break as many blocks as I can so that maybe I will have enough space to rebuild this house. Okay, look around you guys. I think I mined out enough space for this house and it literally took me so long. I threw some torches down so it was pretty bright in here. Next thing I gotta do is go back up to the surface and get the rest of my supplies and then start to build this thing. But you guys, it took me forever to break that house down and mine out this space. So I will be back when I have this thing built. Guys, I cannot believe I pulled this off. I mean, look at this house. Guys, it is almost identical to the one that I just tore down. And you guys, I did decide to leave the floor stone because I feel like it gives it a little bit more of that like underground tone. Okay, you can look outside and see that I am completely underground. But honestly, I'm gonna brag a little bit here. Look how identical this is. I am pretty sure I got 
just about everything perfect. And I am honestly gonna clap for myself on that one because I think that that is pretty hard to do and I pulled it off pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys outside. As you can see, literally this entire house is under here. The windows are all the same. Literally all of it is absolutely perfect to the pictures that I took. You've got the front door and everything here. But you know what, guys? I think the next part of this is to call Dylan in here and show him what exactly I have been doing for the past few hours. Guys, I just texted Dylan. He should be coming up the stairs in like any second now. I mean, I told him that I wanted him to come see something that I've been working on because I've been kind of shut away in my room for quite a while now. So, oh, oh, come in. Yo, what up? I want you to see something. What's good? Look at this house. What's up? Look at this house. Nice. You what? built a house of Minecraft. Good job. Pretty good. Yeah, does it look familiar? Um, I mean. Look at it. Hold on. Do you remember it? Wait, go to the front. Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait. Um, what? I, what do you, what? What is it? This isn't what, this is my house. Yeah. This is. I completely replicated it. Babe, what? All underground. And the one above ground? Guess where I got all the materials for? <laughs> I destroyed your house and put it underground. Tell me I have bad pranks now. It took me, like, I don't know, like two or three days. I know, can you imagine how long it took me to completely destroy it and move it underground? I had to gather A lot. every material, hand by, like. I know, and it was so tedious taking oh down the whole thing. my, no, I had to craft every single little item. <laughs> Got you. Anyways, you guys. Let me know if you think I did okay. This is almost breaking up worthy. <gasps> Minecraft beats everything! <laughs>